Now that you've printed up all your parts and have the following bits and pieces together, we can start to put it together. All the details, including sizes and quantities, are in the description. Now for the holder assembly. Get two nuts and the two knobs and the epoxy resin. Mix a little epoxy resin and dab it inside the nut hole and then press in the two nuts and set aside to harden nut side up. Take the two wing nuts and drill a hole in one of the lobes. Then take a hacksaw and cut off the other lobe and you should have something that looks like this. Take two bolts and insert it in both sides of the holder. Then thread your two wing nuts onto the bolts and all the way to the bottom so that they fit firmly and the bolt will poke out the top. When the knobs have set, then make up some more epoxy resin. And dab the resin inside the threads of the nuts. And also dab some on the ends of the two bolts. Hold these upside down screw in leaving about a one millimeter gap so the knob doesn't adhere to the holder. Set it upside down until completely set. Finally screw the short bolt into the base to form a thread and leave inside. Now to fluid dampening module assembly. Get together the four fluid dampening inserts and the two handles and the thick grease. Carefully squeeze the thick grease into the inner three grooves on the handle. Be careful not to deform the groove. Then carefully squeeze the grease into the three grooves of the fluid dampening insert. Now push the insert into the handle, cleaning up any excess grease that comes out. Now do this for the remaining three. Get the two bottom arms and align the slots of the inserts in the same direction and hold together. Take the bottom arm and gently slide the tab into the groove on the insert. Now rock the handle back and forth to spread the grease well. If any excess grease comes out, wipe it clean. Now to the arm assembly. Now we get together all the arms, handles, springs and remaining nuts and bolts. First, press the nuts into the nut holes. Then screw the bolts into the bottom arms and handles. Once firmly screwed in, back them off a half a turn. Now grab the springs and attach the top arms to the handles while threading the bolt through the end of the spring. Now to the final assembly. Now we need to join the two arm assemblies to the holder assembly. Firstly, we'll adjust the knob so that the wing nut 
is up towards the top as it reduces the spring's tension for the next step. We need to take the other end of the spring now and hook it to the hole in the wing nuts. Take the bottom arm and push it into place over the bottom hole of the holder assembly. With your other hand, slide a bolt in and screw it into place. Remember to back it off a half a turn. Now do the same for the top arm. Now this will be a little bit more difficult because there's a lot more tension from the spring. If you've got someone who can help you, one person can just hold the arm and the other person can push the bolt in. But I managed, it's not too difficult if you're a little bit careful. Now, balancing your gimbal. We're almost done. We just need to attach the gimbal with the balance camera connected. Slide the gimbal arm into the gimbal holder and screw it in firmly. Now hold the handles up to see whether the Z-axis springs are balanced properly. The aim is for the support arms to be close to horizontal. If they dip down, you need to add more tension in the springs so turn the tension adjustment knob so that the wing nut moves down. If the support arms point up then loosen the tension. With use, you'll find you'll probably tweak these adjustment knobs to suit your preferences. Like whether it's soft suspension or hard suspension. Okay, well that's it. I'm excited for you. Now go out and take it for a test drive. Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful to you. Please let me know what you thought with a thumbs up or down. I love hearing what you think of my designs in the comments. If you want to see more of my DIY videos, you can check out my YouTube channel, Scotty Makes Stuff, at the above link. Bye.